here is a male human and a representation of his gamete. Looking in a somatic cell, we'll see that this individual has 23 pairs of chromosomes. One set came from his mother and one set from his father. For example, let's say that the red chromosome is chromosome 3. P, red, is for parental, and the blue chromosome is 3M, for maternal. And here are the paternal and maternal versions of chromosome 18. When we look inside the haploid gamete, we see that it only has one copy of each chromosome. In this case, this particular gamete inherited 3P, the paternal version of chromosome 3, and the maternal version of chromosome 18. We can look at the genotypes of two of these markers, D3S 1358 on chromosome 3 and D18S 51 on chromosome 18. Here, in bold, are the allele designations on each chromosome for each of those two markers, D3S and D18S. For a cell, like the somatic cell, that contains multiple versions of one chromosome, we can write a genotype, which is a list of all of the alleles for the same or homologous chromosome. In this case, chromosome 3's genotype is 13 14, and chromosome 18's genotype is 15 15. The haploid gamete, because it doesn't have a second copy of either of the chromosomes, contains no slashes, simply a semicolon to indicate the difference between one chromosome and the next. 13, semicolon, 15. In sum, a genotype is a list of all of the alleles for one or more loci inside of a somatic cell. In a haploid cell, like a gamete, there is no genotype Rather, there's a haplo, or half, type, listing the single allele on each chromosome present inside of that cell. To summarize, the slash indicates the difference between the allele on two homologous chromosomes, say the two copies of chromosome 3, and then the two copies of chromosome 18, in the somatic cell. In both cases, the semicolon is used to distinguish genotypes or haplotypes that are on separate chromosomes, like chromosome 3 and chromosome 18. Thanks for watching, and please be sure to be in touch if you have any questions.